it's Kasha Gage. Welcome to part two of Pieces of Play. If you haven't missed the first video of this documenting project, I will link it for you up above. I do have a little bit of my process for putting together a few pages. And what I'll be doing in this video is just walking you through my entire album. So if you guys are just tuning in or unfamiliar, uh, what this documenting project is, it's an invitation uh, to capture, document, tell stories uh, about what play looks like in your life right now. Now, I chose to do this a different week than what the Community Documenting Week was with Allie Edwards. Uh, it's what worked for me in my schedule. And I also chose to do different prompts than what was originally say suggested or provided in this traveler's notebook or that was available in the pdf download again part of that it was my choice and you know just something a uh, big reminder do what works for you in your storytelling your memory keeping what um whatever season you're in and part of it i wanted to focus a little bit more on stories of now rather than having some of present um i just i chose to mix stuff up so I'll share the prompts a little bit with you guys uh, as we walk through, and this, like I said, will be pretty quick. So the first one I did was um, I Love to Play, and just had a little bit of fun here. This is a piece of deli paper uh, that I made the print using a jelly plate and a bunch of acrylic paint and just ended up adhering that in with a little bit of a chipboard, created a little flap. It says, love, this journal card is from a play story kit. Another photo of some what I was doing with um, a watercolor and creating an ombre pattern. And then photo and journaling. So this is, you know, one thing I like to do, especially even in these uh, types of projects, is sometimes follow a little bit of a formula. So here you have something, you know, maybe a full page pattern paper on the left and your photo and journaling on the right. And you'll see this in a few of the other spreads. Uh, also love to do the full spread of photos. So here is play date. This was for our dog, Henry. It was his first birthday. And so we had a birthday party, aka a puppy play date at the park for him. And that was super fun to do. All right, so we have love to play, play date. Next is uh, right now I'm playing. And for here, I thought it would be great to do, um, you know, some different equipment. And it's funny because even since I took this photo, I've changed out some of my equipment. It's just goes to show things are ever evolving. So, but just showing right now I'm playing with my camera, um, talking about Project 365. And I know I've had a lot of questions about that. What that is, is simply capturing one photo every day uh, with a lot of different intentionality, you know, to do that or really seek out a moment of your day or whatever stories you're looking at. Some people will focus on certain themes. Uh, one of the groups I am part of, a photography group, we focus on a theme every week. And so I'm bringing that in a little bit to my documenting or what I'm looking to capture, I should say. But just a before and after, created this flip. This is using vellum. Uh, as I explained in that process video, I wasn't concerned about the translucency or the transparency, we should say, of the vellum. I just wanted this print. So that's why there is a piece of printer paper behind this that helps hold this all together with a flap. Moving on, this is uh, Playful Moments. And I think, if I remember right, there was a playful memory that was included um, or was one of the prompts, but I decided to do like playful moment. Uh, and this, you know, talking about how uh, my morning walks with Henry and where we specifically stop. And it kind of became a thing at some point last year that every Monday we take selfies. And I don't know why Mondays, but still. So creating a grid here, again, photo journaling. Another full page spread. Uh, this is my playlist. Um, so rather than play sounds like, I decided to do what is on my playlist or what, uh, you know, am I listening to right now? And that's talking about, you know, a couple audiobooks, some different rotating playlists or podcasts. And this was a fun one. I think this might be one of, I don't know, it might be one of my favorites at least because I love the graphic component. And I foresee myself doing something very similar come week in the life. 
Then for the next one, I did Play on Repeat. There are several TV shows I will watch again and again, and there are more than just these three. But these three stand out to me for very specific reasons uh, of why... I love these shows or why I return to them. And that's what I focused on, you know, that I talking about like I'm a repeater. I've been known to rewatch TV shows and movies. Um, but, you know, I have many favorites I return to. And then these are three in the specific stories associated with them. Then the last one, play equals learning. And this is some pattern paper from one of the previous scrapbook quarterly scrapbook kits with Allie Edwards and then a journal card punching that out a photo and journaling and I used this photo before in one of the pieces project but I loved it and I thought it was a great representation of playing and having fun so here again where I talked about you know you have some type of maybe pattern paper and photo and journaling and you see that again here so that is a look at how I chose to document play in a traveler's notebook. If you guys have any questions, be sure to let me know in the comments below. And until next time, everybody, take care.